Today, my Future Fight Gamers of Vader G here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, what's going on here? Okay, yeah, silly stuff on screen. Uh, just logging into the game. Uh, one of the things we're going to be looking at in this video is, believe it or not, the cheapest method potentially of getting a brilliant CTP in the game. So, what I'm talking about is a secret shop. Um, other people could sort of argue and sort of say, oh yeah, there is a cheaper way, use the craft event. Um, the craft event is not guaranteed, number one. Uh, I was lucky to get a, a brilliant CTP of destruction last craft event. I haven't equipped it yet because I don't have a, I don't have a fantastic role in it and I'm not super psyched um, about throwing CTPs at it to re-roll it at this point in time. But this event in game is potentially outside of the craft events which if you get lucky you can get a brilliant CTP although there's never been one for judgment um, there hasn't been one for a couple of other types of CTPs that have uh, that now are able to be reforged as well I believe this is actually the cheapest mode to do that so we'll get into that in a second um, just gonna quickly cash in on my tier 3 selector uh, in game so that's this fella here so very cool loving this um loving the anniversary event loving the you know the, the bonus crystal deals uh the discount chests all that sort of stuff haven't really done much uh in terms of purchasing anything i have cashed in my uh star star agent crystals so i get five thousand a month for anyone who didn't know uh that's what i get and yeah, so I get 5,000 crystals a month, and I think I'm going to pick Daredevil here. That's what I was thinking about going in. And for the last four months, I have not spent those 5,000 crystals in game, so I've just been saving them up and I've you know cashed in 20,000 crystals. So it gives me the opportunity for the craft event, um, but or, or whatever it's called, the whatever the the crisscross thing is. Anyway, let's let's get um, let's get Daredevil happening here. I do have his new uniform, so. Um, yeah, I think he's a good choice for me. I have a lot of the other characters tier 3 already. I'm working on Ant-Man through that, uh, whatever that quest is that you can do on the side. Um, so yeah, okay, got me up a agent badge level as well, which is really nice. Uh, and I'll just share that with the Alliance, because why not? Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Daredevil, he will be pretty good. I'll probably set him up with, you know, maybe no, maybe not a CTP at this stage, but uh, either I've got so many obelisks, so many decent obelisks, right? So we can set him up with, you know, potentially some something, you know, that's kind of, I don't know, world boss sort of stuff, you know. Basically, all my obelisks are, are pretty well 180 or 200, and you can see how many I've got. And I've got a bunch of five seconds of invincibility in there as well. So quite a hoarder when it comes to that, to that sort of thing. Anyway, um, one other thing I do want to mention: I'm going to address the elephant that's in the room. Uh, firstly, good on Netmarble for trying to make changes and eliminate co-op. Uh, one bitch that I do have about it though, so one legitimate whinge, I think it's legitimate anyway, is that now to run this mode 10 times a day, um, 10 times 2 minutes, right? That's 20 minutes a day, whereas before it was taking 2 minutes. So it's definitely not a quality of life change uh, with this new co-op uh, style multiverse invasion. I like the idea of it. I don't see any need as to why it needs to run for two minutes per session. I also don't see any need as to why you need to run ten characters through it. We only we only did co-op five times before, right? Um, and the additional rewards you get uh, is really it's not much. Um, I think you know before you know you got something like you know two and a half million minimum uh, or something like that. I th actually I think I'm pretty sure it was more than that, right? Now you now you might be getting three and a little bit. It's definitely nowhere near double the amount that you're getting. It might be an additional twenty to twenty five percent of what we were getting before, but it's ten times the time in game. And for me, that's not it, it's not how this should have been designed, uh, in my opinion. Sure, it should have been a bit more challenging uh, than what it was, uh, taking two seconds, one hit, and the boss is dead. But they've gone too far, and having, putting a timer on it of two minutes is just stupid, in my opinion. Okay, let's get back to this secret shop. Okay, so the secret shop, you need to roll through five times to get the brilliant CTP. So level one, that's what I'm on now. I only started a couple of hours ago, um, and I probably spent... Uh, well, let's see how many... I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've probably spent around about a thousand crystals because I've got a couple of cheap ones, right? So there were a couple of um, cheap ones that did come through. I think they were Cosmic Core or something like that. Yeah, these ones down the end here. Um, so the reforging ones. 
I'd, oh, what did I do there? Didn't mean, hopefully I didn't buy anything. But, um, oh fuck, I did buy something. That's stupid. So, uh, I don't know why, I don't know what I just did then, because I actually had two cheap ones on screen. But effectively, what I'll be doing is buying anything that's kind of 260 crystals or less. Uh, and I had two just on screen then, and I somehow fucked that up. I don't know what I did, but it, it wasn't fantastic. Uh, I, I must have bought some item randomly that doesn't it doesn't even count towards the stupid uh, the stupid quest thing. Um, but yeah, five times I'll get a CTP the first time. We'll get a level five artifact, which is quite significant. The second time, a mighty CTP the third time. Uh, six star artifact selector uh, on the fourth time, which is huge. Uh, and brilliant CTP on the fifth time. Now, having a chat with another guy this morning who is in Odyssey, who did this actually last Black Friday, he said that when he sort of stuck to items under 250 crystals, it costs him approximately um, 26,000 crystals. So 26,000 crystals, let's have a bit of a look at that. You get uh, Odin's Blessing Selector, so you get two per go. Uh, yeah, so you get this one here, you get this one and I believe they're selectors yeah so it is selector so I'll be getting the double physical attack ones there you get some other shit as well like you get a, a, a six star mega rag cup ticket uh, you get a mega uniform upgrade ticket Mick mythic which is pretty pretty good as well and I'm assuming you get this same stuff every time that you repeat it so you're getting you're getting a little bit of value so I guess at the end of it I'll have 10 uh, Odin's blessing selectors so I don't know what they're worth but whatever they're worth and I'm not suggesting anyone do this right I'm not I'm just doing it because I've got the crystals I saved up from um, my star agent type stuff so yeah but what I'll do I'm at 41,000 crystals uh, for 40 41,600 let's just say let's assume I've spent a thousand crystals on it so far um, so let's just say I started with 42,700 crystals or something like that what I'll do is I'll just monitor it and see how much it's going to cost to actually get to the brilliant CTP and I'm just going to hope that the Brilliant CTP that I get comes out with a decent roll because what I fucking hate about this Brilliant CTP system is actually having to re-roll them with premium materials. It's, it's kind of garbage after you go to so much expense to actually acquire the item in the first place um, to then do that, you know, to, to then have to muck around with that. Now, if we do a quick calculation of the cost of a Brilliant outside of this, so let's just say we're doing, let's just say we're doing, um, Let's just say we're, we're reforging something, right? Let's just say we're reforging, you know, I'm not going to do it because I don't really need it, but let's just say we're reforged this fellow here. What we need is we need another one of these CTPs. So we've got one CT, CTP to start with, another one uh, of the same type, and then I believe another five CTPs on top of that. So ultimately, you're looking at six, six extra CTPs. So I think it's either five or six extra CTPs on top of the initial re-roll which is which then turns it into if you fail which you, you got right now it's not even a chance up right so you've got a huge amount of chance of failing I think it's only 7% chance of success um, at maximum um, then you've got it you know obviously there's a 93% chance to fail right and the cost is huge I mean that's six CTPs let's just say an average CTP cost these days is 2,000 that's 12,000 crystals per go so even when it's chance up, so even when it's 21% or three times chance up, which is to me is just ridiculous. It's still a pathetic chance considering the cost. Even at 21% chance, let's just say, I mean, based on that, let's just say an average of every four goes, then you're going to get a brilliant, okay? Uh, so every four goes, we're looking at 24 CTPs because six CTPs per go. Um, we're looking at 24 CTPs, multiply that by 2,000 crystals, the cost of each CTP, and you're looking at, you know, 48,000, 48,000 crystals worth of CTPs flush down the drain. So, in my opinion, this event, if I can get it, if I don't stuff it up again and press the wrong button, if I can get it for 26, 27,000 crystals, it should be the cheapest mode in the game. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on monitoring this, and um, yeah, I'll, and and what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a quick vid uh, at the end and just see how we go. All right, guys. Uh, let me know what you're doing. Let me know what you got in the, um, you know, what you're going for in these in this anniversary event. I got really lucky actually uh, with artifacts. Uh, I didn't pull any. I didn't pay for any. But I opened up that um, the one where we have the crystal vet, not the the code for my, my MFF seventh go. I think it is. Got this thing this morning, the Scarlet Witch, and I opened up a gold. 
uh, chest the other day and got Doctor Strange. I mean, like the same day that Doctor Strange dropped uh, his, his update, I actually pulled his artifact from a gold chest. No shit. Absolutely no bullshit. So, um, yeah. Uh, pretty lucky in that in that respect so far so i mean the other dilemma i've got now is i don't really know what artifact i would actually pick with those five and six star selectors anyhow long video sorry about that i uh, hope you enjoy and, and i'll give you some updates about this um about this event as we go along and just let you know how much this costs all right guys see ya